2014-15 end of season presentation evening here at the Hampshire Court Hotel. A fantastic new venue, I'm sure you'll all agree with me. It's a bigger room. It's the biggest room that we've had for an end of season presentation since we moved back to the EPL. And uh, we really do appreciate all your support in turning out tonight. It's a chance for us to get together and reflect on the year that's passed. I mean, it was always going to be a challenge to repeat the success of last year with the ever-changing face of the English Premier League. However, there are still plenty of reasons that we, as a club, can be proud, not only of our team, but also as a club. On the ice, a third-place finish was achieved in the year in which the team was ravaged by injury. Barely a game was played without a full and complete roster, with guys being lost to both short and long-term injuries. However, the team showed its true fighting spirit right until the end, picking up some major victories along the way and continuing to prove a challenge to everyone throughout the campaign. There was also a great moment for the team when we were named the Senior Team of the Year at the Basingstoke and Dean District Awards, as well as Kurt Reynolds becoming the latest Bison player to be named the Gazette's Sports Personality of the Year. Not only that, we were also nominated as one of three clubs for the Hampshire Team of the Year. Just hit to the post on that one. And just to let you know, in the next couple of weeks, we are going to need your help with another award that we are up for. I can't say too much right now, but bear to say, we're going to need your support big time in the next couple of weeks to take home some great awards that are on offer in Basingstoke. Off the ice, it's been a huge challenge for us. I mean, at the end of the day, we had a great season of success, but it was followed by a summer of discontent as many key sponsors walked away from the club. However, a lot of hard work and graft has seen us come out the other side a lot stronger, with some great partners supporting our vision for not only, uh, for not only the club, but also the community. A lot of what we do can't be done without our volunteers. They are fantastic, both on match nights and during the week, in helping us to build the club that we all want to have. Now normally at this moment I'll invite John Neville up, he'll forget about four people's names and forget to have the bottles of wine. <laughs> Instead this year, for all our match night volunteers, thanks to our great sponsorship at ZZ's, we'll be taking you all out for a free meal. <laughs> when I say free, John Neville's opening his wallet for that one, so... <laughs> But seriously, I think it's important that we do all show our appreciation to all our volunteers right now by giving everybody a round of applause for all their help in the 2014 activities. It's not just the volunteers that make us such a key part of the community, it's all our sponsors as well. We are blessed to work alongside some great companies who share in our vision and want to be part of the Bison community. A variety of packages allow companies at every level to become involved with the club and offer their support. What we'd like to first of all now do is just show our appreciation to some of our sponsors who are in here this evening. So if Doug could come and join me for this moment. Our first presentation this evening is to Paul Baldwin from our title sponsors, Paul Baldwin Agencies. Paul did not have to step in and come and help us. Hockey was never in doubt in Basingstoke, but Paul's helping hand this year has allowed us to continue to thrive, survive and succeed. So if Paul, if you'd like to come forward please, we have a jersey to send you. It's Ryan Watt for the as well, as well. great support from one of Basingstoke's long-standing names. Berry Bros and Rudd have been fantastic partners throughout the season, as seen with the Tweet of the Week, or Tweet of the Week contest even, on Twitter and in the programme, and various other presentations that we were able to make. I'm also sure the players will fondly remember their wine-tasting event they had there earlier in the season as well. So if I could ask Nick and his guests to come up please to collect a trophy, a, sorry, a jersey from the team on our behalf.
from a personal perspective, to me, Minuteman Press have been wonderful partners these past two seasons. They've helped us to increase the professionalism of our programme and helped us produce the fantastic banners that now adorn the Basingstoke Arenas and make us really proud of what our club stands for. They've helped us to get our message across in the best way possible and have also been a real support to Doug, myself and Clive throughout this last campaign. So if I could invite Sean and Susan to our place, as well as Grant Rounding to play at
uh, before our next award, I feel it's important that we take a moment to pause and reflect. Um, as social media becomes a more and more prevalent part of our lives and communications, most of you would have seen a bit of an announcement following our exit from the playoffs, and I'm glad to say that we were able to follow this up on Thursday. After 27 seasons of playing, Nicky Chin announced his retirement from the sport. Now, in the wonderful way that is British ice hockey, with much miscommunication on stats and everything like that, we actually missed a very important event towards the end of last season that only became clear once the announcement was made. Nicky actually passed 500 EPL appearances during the last campaign. We are completely disappointed to have missed this occasion. However, we would still like to pass on a token of our appreciation. So if I can invite Paul Baldwin from our great title sponsors, Paul Baldwin Agencies Up, to make a presentation of not only a memento for Nicky, Nicky for passing 500 games, but also to the skipper for his great career. Thank <laughs> you. 
Obviously, uh, this even came um, slightly premature to me um, from the huge uh, result we got on Saturday up in Manchester. You know, I was I was thinking we were going to make it to uh, to uh, to Coventry, and that was the plan. So that was kind of when I had it all in my mind that um, you know it would unfold, and I could tell the boys. But um, obviously, hockey and sport, as it is, is what it is, is uh, is unpredictable, and um, yeah, after Sunday, I was I was crushed, and uh, I just. You know, it just that was it. I was done. Um, but you know, I, I'm. What's keeping me going is the thought of last year. I, I desperately want to win something amazing. So um, I tried for three hard years here to do to do that. And um, you know, last year made it all worthwhile. So um, that's the memory I'll have. I'll uh, I'll kind of just pass over a bit of this year. Um, but uh, you know, I'm very pleased to have done that. And um, yeah, I've had a great career, but uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Um, I thank you to everyone that supports me, all my teammates, and I wish them all a bright, bright future. This is a, a great club um, with, with great potential. And um, yeah, just, you know, the next leader of this team, then you've got big shoes to follow, dude. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wish you all the best of luck, and uh, thanks everyone again. Thank you. This guy uh, is an immense talent. Um, it just goes from some of his, I wouldn't say cockiness, but his confidence in the way he takes some of those penalty shots in do or die game win situations. Um, the player's player of the year is Kieran Long. Thanks for the award, boys. Sorry I can't be there. Um, thanks for all the votes, apart from Deck, because I know you voted for yourself, which I don't think you're allowed to do. But yeah, it's a privilege to get it. Thank you very much.
Council is Supporters British Player of the Year. And this year, this wonderful trophy was won by Kurt Reynolds. Bill 
a fraud, really, because I haven't been here that much this year. Um, I'd like to thank Doug, as usual. Um, we've been through a lot in the last three years, and we'll carry on going through a lot in the next couple of years. So, uh, thanks, Doug, for everything you do for the bison, and I enjoy it. To the players, you play hard every week. You've had a lot of injuries this year. I'm sorry I haven't been to watch you, but you win more when I come, I guess. So, but no, sorry, I don't mean that. I'm um, sorry, man. Um, every week, you dedicate to in and out. You play hard every week. You've had a lot of injuries this year. But I thank every one of you for playing. So, well done, everybody. And uh, we'll be back next year soon. We won't be missing it to, um, to thank Nicky Chin for all his services to the Bison. Um, I've known Nicky a lot, lot of years, too many, even when he was in Cardiff. So Nicky, uh, enjoy your retirement. Make sure you do snap them blades so you can't put them on in the NL next year. Um, but uh, thank you for your service to the club and also to Big Shoddy. And to all the volunteers, I can't remember what you did, so I'm not going to even try. <laughs> the bench staff, and above all the fans, thank you for uh, everything you do for the Bison. Um, I really appreciate it. I don't get here often as much as I could do, but uh, Doug appreciates it, I know that, and all the players do, so thank you very much. Enjoy your summer, and I promise you we will be back bigger and better next year.